CapCut makes video editing super simple. And now that you've clicked on this video, learning how to use it is going to be even easier. I'm going to walk you through everything you need to know to start editing like a pro, even if this is your very first time opening CapCut. So let's jump straight in. The first thing we're going to do is create a brand new project. On the CapCut homepage, you'll see this big blue create project button at the top. Just click that and boom, we're inside the editor. Now before we do anything else, let's take a quick tour so you don't get lost along the way. On the left side of your screen is where all your media lives. Videos, images, music, whatever you want to use. In the middle, you've got your preview window. This is where you'll see your edits happening in real time. Over on the right side, you'll find all your project settings like the name, resolution, aspect ratio and more. If you want to tweak any of that, just click the modify button. Lastly, at the bottom, we've got the timeline. This is where the real magic happens. Every cut, every effect, every bit of editing happens right here. Now let's import some media. Just click on the media panel and select the files you want to work with. I've got these amazing car clips for this example. So I'll select all of them and hit open. They'll pop up right in your media bin. To bring them into your timeline, you can either click the little blue plus icon on each one or just drag and drop them into place. Once they're in, you're officially editing. If you want a better view of your clips on the timeline, zooming in is super handy. Just hold down control on your keyboard and press the plus or minus keys to zoom in or out. Or if you're using a mouse, hold control and scroll the wheel. I personally find that way easier. Next up, let's trim our clips. Say one of your videos is a bit too long and you don't need all of it. Move the playhead to the part where you want the clip to end, then click the split button or press control plus B. That'll cut the clip in two. If you don't need the first part, just select it and press delete. You can also trim by grabbing the edge of the clip and dragging it in. Above the timeline, you've got a bunch of helpful tools. Undo, redo, split, delete, marker for dropping notes, freeze frame to create stills, reverse, mirror, rotate, and crop. They're all right there when you need them. Let's add some transitions between clips so it doesn't feel so jumpy. Just click on the transitions tab at the top, hover over the different options to see a preview, and when you find one you like, drag it between two clips. You can also adjust how fast or slow it feels by changing the duration in the top right corner here. Now let's say you want to zoom in on some parts of your shot, just click on the clip, go to the top right corner, and adjust the scale. If you want to move the shot around, drag the video manually, or use the position sliders. And if you need to rotate it, just spin the little wheel. Everything is super responsive and easy to tweak. If you want to make things move, like a smooth zoom or pan, you can use keyframes. Click the diamond icon next to transform to drop your first keyframe. Then move the playhead forward, change the scale or position, and CapCut will automatically animate it for you. You can do this with anything that has a diamond icon next to it. Let's adjust the speed of your clips too. Click on the speed button at the top. Drag the slider right to speed it up or left to slow it down. You can also set the exact duration you want and CapCut will adjust the speed for you. Want to add some animation to your video? Click on the animation tab. You've got in, out and combo options. These work kind of like transitions, but for individual clips, choose the one you like and you can also set the duration at the bottom to control how fast or slow the animation is. Let's now touch up the color. Click the adjust button at the top and scroll down to play with things like brightness, saturation, and temperature. Basic color correction stuff. If you want to quickly change the mood, go to filters and just drag one onto your video. You can drop it right onto the clip or place it on a new layer above it. You can also apply it to your entire clips by dragging it to the end like this. Now let's add some music to your project. Go up to audio and CapCut will show you a bunch of free tracks. Click the little album icon to preview a song. If you like it, drag it into the timeline right below your video clips. Easy. With your music selected, you'll see some volume controls on the right. You can fade it in, fade it out, normalize the sound or remove background noise, which is especially helpful if you're using voiceovers. If your audio levels are too high and you see red or orange peaks in the waveform, just lower the volume a bit and you're good. Speaking of voiceovers, if you have one and want to add captions, here's how. First, import your voice file and drag it into the timeline. Move the playhead to the start of the audio, then go to the captions tab at the top. Choose your language, decide if you want it to highlight keywords or add emojis, then click generate. CapCut will do the rest. Once captions are added, you can style them however you want. 
change fonts, size, color, or even use preset styles and animated templates. If you'd rather add your own text instead of captions, just click on the text tab, drag the default text into your timeline, and type what you want. The same customization options apply, font, color, size, and all that. Of course, you can animate your text too. Just click on animation and pick how you want it to appear or disappear. Once your edit looks good and sounds even better, it's time to export. Click the export button at the top right. Here, you can name your file, pick where you want it saved, choose resolution, frame rate, or even audio settings if you need them. When you're happy with all that, click the big blue export button and CapCut will do the rest. And just like that, you've officially edited your first video in CapCut. I hope this was helpful. If it was, don't forget to like, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.